what I did was, uh, I'll just show you what I did. I made this animation uh, around my lantern, and I'm going to show you how I did it now. Um, I'll back out of it. Save as, I'm going to save it as Lantern 3. And that way I can open up Lantern 2. Okay. So right now, what I have is just this. And what I wanted to show you how to do is, I can click this circle animation right here, right? I mean, it's not an animation yet. It's just the circle, the glow layer. And just select it, right? And I could turn it into another movie clip. So I could hit F8 on my keyboard, movie clip. Call it MC underscore glow, for instance. And now it's a movie clip. And then I could just make an animation out of it. So I could double click on it. And something that I could do is I could put a keyframe here, F6. And I could just quite simply have it selected, right? And I could make it bigger. So that's one first thing I did was I used my transform tool, hold down the shift key, make it better, bigger. And then before I let go, I could hold down the space bar. I could move it into position. Wait a minute. Let's see how that goes. See, that's not working so good. So select it and move it over. And just, maybe I'll just fumble with it until it's right. Okay, that's good. Yeah. All right. And, all right. Slide it over a little bit. Okay. If I hit Control Enter, you'll see it's too fast. So what I can do is I need to put another frame here, F5. And now it's a bit better. Still select that. Move that over one. And now it's better. Um, I could take both of these keyframes, hold down the Shift key, select this one, and then click on this button right here, which is Edit Multiple Frames. And if I wanted to, I could select in here the black arrow, and I could edit multiple frames and, and go in ahead and edit my gradient. So I could take this, for instance, and make that alpha all the way down to zero. Make it a bit bigger. Hit Control Enter, and see if I like that effect better, which in fact I do. And then I also changed some of my other gradients here. So I went in here, I took this gradient, slid that over a little bit, made it a little bit wider. Okay. And I also selected it and made the alpha a little bit lower. And then I hit Control Enter and see if I like it. And sure enough, I, I like the whole thing uh, better. Uh, what I could do also is I could add in here, turn this off, edit multiple frames. And I could add some frames of white if I wanted. Just, I mean, clear, get rid of it, insert a blank keyframe so nothing's there. And then F5. So now I've got a gradient, a bigger gradient, and then nothing. And then hit Control Enter and see if I like that, you know, with it disappearing. And I don't. So I'm going to edit, undo, control Z, control Z, control Z, and get rid of that. Control Z. All right. But I do like what's happening there. On this keyframe, it didn't quite change the edit. So what I need to do is I wasn't able to edit multiple frames there. So I slide that over, change that to zero, take this, slide this over. Change the alpha maybe down to 67, and then press enter and see if I like the effect and what's happening. Um, click on the background. My frame rate's at 18. I think I'll leave it there. Um, I could add another keyframe here. 
F6, and I could change the size of this again if I wanted to, or I could just change perhaps the animation and how it's working. I could change the color here, which might be a nice effect for the overall animation. So you get a sense of the glowing effect. And now I've got this little animation here. So that's pretty nice. What I'll do is go back to scene one. And last but not least, what I need to do is this whole animation is existing on four layers. And I need to get the whole thing into a movie clip so that it's portable so I can use it in my library and use it in many different scenarios. So that's what we'll do in the next movie clip. Okay, this is the last piece, and this is the last part. And just very briefly, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my black arrow. I'm going to select this top keyframe. Hold down my shift key. Select the bottom keyframe. Notice how all four get highlighted. And I'm going to right click, and I'm going to hit copy frames. So now I've copied all four keyframes on all four layers. And then I can say insert new symbol, movie clip, I could say MC underscore lantern, and now I have a new movie clip that I'm getting ready to make, MC lantern, and I just select that first keyframe and right click on it, and go down to paste frames, so that was copy frames, and so now I do paste frames, and it pastes in all four layers into my symbol. So now I go back to scene one, and I can unlock all four layers. I can delete all these layers. So I'm going to delete the top layer, this layer, that layer, and I'll even delete the uh, the flame, and put this and call this background BG. So now it looks like I have an empty movie clip, but there's my lantern, and drag it out, and the whole thing is now portable and encased in a movie clip shrink it down and now a character can walk around with this lantern in the game or in the movie and it's a little uh, piece of animation or a little uh, utility a little uh, character an asset that could work on a bunch of levels I can also drag out if I needed to more than one and have them functioning at different sizes in the same movie. So there we have it. We made an animated character named MC Lantern. If I double click on it, you see inside it actually has four layers. The bottom layer was the flame, which was a movie clip animation that we blurred. Uh, we blurred the individual keyframes, which were also movie clips. Then I made the candle, which was just some a shape, some line and some shapes. Then we made the glass, which was a white shape that had al um, transparency and a radial gradient. And then last but not least, the glow, which was a movie clip, which is a movie clip that um, the movie clip that has an animation inside of it. If you double click has a three frame animation inside of it or a five frame animation one two three keyframes I'll put an extra frame here F5 back to scene one that'll change both and there is my there's my animation